Hey guys, long time no see. I just checked and it's been over a year since I filmed anything for YouTube. So I thought maybe I should jump back in. So we'll see, we're gonna try this out. Um, I'm gonna ease myself in. So if you guys can just bear with me. But what I wanted to share with you guys is actually some footage that I filmed almost a year ago about my inspiration wall behind me and how I put that all together. Just my process, how I gather things, what I'm looking for, how I layer, that kind of thing. Unfortunately, um, I am not able to put up a new inspiration wall. I mean, I guess I could. I shouldn't say I'm not able to. But I'm not going to for 2023 at the moment because I am actually moving my studio. So hopefully in another couple months, I will have a new bigger space. And I hope to be able to bring you guys kind of along on that journey. But I thought that it would be fun maybe to start with my first video of 2023 being something that I do at the beginning of every year typically, which is put together an inspiration wall. So I'll go through the process with you guys at that. Hopefully it inspires you and you can put together your own wall, which kind of serves as a piece of art in and of itself in my studio. So anyway, thanks guys. Jumping back in. We'll see how this goes. No promises, but I'm going to try my best. So here's a little better view of the wall now. I just wanted to kind of show you lots of photos, some old drawings. I painted some flowers on the wall. except for the stuff that was painted there. I am gonna leave this big piece of wood just because it's like attached down there and I can't get it out. And I still love it, so I'm gonna leave that. And then this sticker up here is actually a bumper sticker that I just like stuck to the wall. So I'm gonna leave that too. I'm gonna sweep it down. There's some like cobwebby dust stuff and wipe it down and then paint over all of the spots. getting my inspiration wall up is um, underway. So I am going to be painting the layer on today that I want to do underneath before I put any of the collage materials and stuff on top and the stuff I've collected. Um, I have an idea. I'm not sure how it's going to work, but uh, we're just going to kind of see how it goes. I'm just going to fast forward through the process so you guys can see but I always start with the paint layer and then I just start adding um, things on top. stick with that for now um, I wanted to do make it look like paint swatches across the top so 
I'm pretty happy with that. What I'm going to do now is figure out where I want to paint my word of the year. I did that last year and really liked it. So I've got my word for 2022 and I'm not sure where I'm going to paint it or how I'm going to paint it, but I'm going to kind of figure that out now. And then after that, I'll start layering everything on the wall. That'll be the last painting I do. Okay, so I didn't like the way it was looking just hand lettered. Um, it was looking like a little too just pretty pretty. So uh, I decided to paint over it with a black strip and then now I'm thinking that I actually want to spray paint like down in that area and then um, put my word in with some white paint or maybe like a, um, like a dark titanium white or something, a little bit off white. So I'm going to spray paint over that little splotch right there and then I'm going to have to get out of the studio for a while. I am losing daylight. I hope that I'll be able to film the rest of it tonight, but um, we'll just kind of have to see how the night goes. Okay, paint's dry and still a little fumey in here, but not too bad, so I'm just going to keep going. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So I am going to do some a little bit more to the letters once they dry some. But now what I'm going to start doing, I don't think I'm going to paint anymore. I'm going to start putting on my collage elements. And I usually do like paper and photographs, then textile things, then nature things is kind of the order that I go in and just layer. incorporate my nature stuff and then a few textile things that I want to do and then I think we're pretty good. I think that that is 
pretty much done. I might have a few more things that I add in, but, um, but I like it. Okay, well, thanks for sticking with me, guys. I know it took me several days to get it done, but I think it looks awesome, and I'm really happy with it. And I hope this inspires you guys to get in your studio, workspace, creative space, or maybe even just get a poster board and create an inspiration wall in the new year. So I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome first week of January and happy new year. I will see you guys next time.